Okay, so I I swear to God I'm not overreacting. The Jake Moody <laughs> thing is a thing, bro. Yeah. He missed two kicks. He missed a 38 yarder and then an extra point. The extra point I'm more I would typically be willing to brush off because he was 60 for 60, which is which is pretty dang impressive before he before he finally missed one. So, um, you know, I I. I don't, again, I'm not, this is not a, oh my God, he missed one. Everything is awful. But it is, we talked about this on our, in, in the pregame pod. It was like, man, they should probably run Jake Moody out there a couple times. Just get a couple kicks. He hasn't kicked a lot of field goals this year. Like just flat out. It, the sample size is not particularly large because the Niners have scored so many touchdowns. So he gets an opportunity. He got a couple opportunities and missed one of the field goals and missed one of the extra points. I guess just a tough, it, it's a, it's not saying they need to sign a new kicker. It's not saying that it's a wasted draft pick or anything like that. Like I'm not going that dramatic with it, but it's definitely like, man, it, it was with, with Robbie gold. It was like going to the playoffs, you know, that your kicking game is set. And with Jake Moody right now, it's a pretty significant question mark still. Yeah. I think that that's the whole thing. Right. And, and with these, you know, like if somebody had a couple down games at any other position, you wouldn't really think about it in the same way you do kickers because kicking is a repetitive motion, right? It's like shooting in basketball or, or hitting the golf ball. Like if you're in a rut, you can kind of stay in a rut for a second. Um, you can just have, and, and it can affect your confidence. It's not like playing quarterback where you get, you know, 30, 40 throws a game. Um, and just one bad one, like you're not going to think about one bad throw in most cases for weeks on end. Right. And now Jake mm -hmm. Moody has two weeks to sit on the fact that kicking into the north end zone, he pushed sliced two kicks to the right. Yep. And the 49ers were lucky enough to go through the season without needing their kicker to bail him out too many times. With uh, the obvious caveat being that the one time they needed Jake Moody to win them a game was in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And he missed the game winning kick. And that was the biggest kick he had. And even going back to the regular season, you didn't feel great about what happened in Vegas when the Niners went to play the Raiders when he missed a couple of kicks. Mm -hmm. So the point here is that, yeah, like we're not, we're not necessarily faulting the process of like, okay, you, you let Robbie gold leave or retire. You decide not to pay him $5 million a year which is not in its uh, in of itself like a terrible decision when you have so many other highly paid players on your team taking up cap space like it makes sense to say okay we're just going to go draft the best kicker in the in, in the draft and in the draft class and feel pretty mm -hmm. good about it and based on the type of kicker Jake Moody was in college you should feel pretty good about it but it doesn't matter what he did in college at this point it doesn't matter where he was drafted it doesn't matter how talented he is the fact is he's missed a few kicks now Mm -hmm. and he's going to have two weeks to think about it with the 49ers going into the playoffs on their bye, and it's going to be a significant mental challenge for him to make big kicks in the playoffs. It just is. Now, mm -hmm. fortunately, the Niners have a really good team and have basically run through the NFC this season and haven't really had to, like I said, rely on their kicker to win them games. So if they beat their first their division round opponent by 14 points or 17 points or whatever, then it's not really going to matter. But if you get to the NFC championship game, or if you get to the Super Bowl, and those games are often decided by one possession or whoever makes the fewest mistakes. And you have a guy leaving points on the field because he's missing kicks, whether it's a field goal or whether it's an extra point, that's obviously going to come to define your season and, and how successful you view this thing. Right? So there's a lot of pressure on Jake Moody and what he does by missing these kicks is enhance that pressure. It increases the pressure. Mm -hmm. The eyeballs will be on him. It will be talked about every time he goes out to make a kick. It will be talked about on this podcast. It will be talked about anytime there's media availability. Kyle Shanahan was answering questions about it after the game Sunday against the Rams, right? Like it is just going to be a talking point. Whereas had Jake Moody just made the kicks that he's supposed to make, these are makeable kicks, right? Nobody's talking about it. There's no focus on it. It's not a thing. And it just changes the tenor of of the lead up to the playoffs. And look, until Jake Moody just makes one of these kicks, this is going to be a question that exists, right? Yeah. And, and, that's, and that's that's ultimately the biggest problem. If you draft a kicker early, if you invest a pick, a third round pick and a kicker, you expect that guy to at least be one of the best kickers, one of the best, I don't know, 
12, 15 kickers in the league from the jump. Mm -hmm. And I think the numbers would say, based on the fact that he didn't miss an extra point until today, and based on his overall numbers, you would say, yeah, he's probably a top half of the a top half of the league. Yeah, he like, de kicker. he definitely is. Yeah, but just because you can say that based on his numbers doesn't mean you necessarily feel great about about him going into the playoffs. And that's ultimately the biggest thing that you take away from Sunday in a game that should have been a meaningless game with very little to talk about. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking about the kicker because he missed two kicks, a field goal and an extra point. And you wonder if that's going to come back to bite the 49ers when they do get to the playoffs. Yeah, it's definitely, like I said, this is not a, this is not, and <laughs> this goes to show you how thrilling this game was that the biggest takeaway is the kicker. And like I said, this is not to say, and, and Greg Hammond in the YouTube chat, again, we're live on YouTube, youtube.com slash at Candlestick Chronicles podcast to uh, to check that out or just search Candlestick Chronicles on YouTube and you can find us. We're live after every game and a couple times a week. But Greg Hammond says the worst thing in the game was Darnold fumbling and not getting Moody a chance to finish on a positive note. I honestly, I think that's a great point because if Darnold drives them down and Moody drills a 45 yarder for the win, this conversation is very different. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, hey, look, he bounced back. He got a chance in that in that big spot. You know, they had to run onto the field and and he had to line it up and kick it and he did it and great. But at that they did get an opportunity to do that. So they go in and this is not a don't kick any field goals in the playoffs take. It's not even a if they're lining up for a 41 yarder for the win, they're definitely losing take. It's just, man, this is a massive question mark at a spot that hasn't been a question mark in any of their other Th three, three, four, three, four playoff runs, 19, 21, 22, three playoff runs. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm, I, I don't, I, like I said, this is a, I think the other focus, the reason it's such a big focus is because like the game didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. So there was just not a, not a ton else to, to take away from it. Big picture. Here's the, here's the biggest Jake Moody thing in my mind. Um, when it, when it comes to the, you know him missing kicks in the playoffs and tim, tim kawakami friend of the show um tweeted out that shanahan said jake moody just had a bad day after being good this season said the 49ers won't be bringing in any kickers this or next week it's moody in the playoffs that's fine here's the thing and that's fine i don't, I don't disagree with that line of thinking but here's the thing say jake moody misses a couple kicks in a playoff game that you end up winning the Niners are more than likely bringing in a field goal kicker, at least to look at leading up to the NFC championship game. Should they win the divisional series? Right. Divisional and round. right. The, divi the divisional round. My apologies. <laughs> Shout out to baseball, a sport that still exists. We love baseball. Um, <laughs> but had, had Moody not missed kicks in Cleveland and in Minnesota and in Vegas in the preseason and today against the Rams, he probably has a longer leash, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he just, you know, he had a bad game against against whoever the Niners play in the divisional round. Like, that's fine. You know, we we'll, we can look back on his track record and say, okay, we feel confident in this guy going into the NFC title game. You can't nope. because of what happened in Cleveland and what happened in Minnesota and what happened today. Now, all of a sudden, that leash has to shorten. Mm -hmm. And now the front office is potentially going to have to look at adding a different kicker after drafting a guy because of the track record not being there like it was for mm -hmm. Robbie Gold, right? So that's that's one thing that him missing kicks does for this organization going into the playoffs. It's like, okay, now all of a sudden he doesn't have a leash. Like he misses kicks in the divisional round and the 49ers win, then they're making phone calls. They're working yep. guys out the next week and they might even sign somebody if they don't have any confidence confidence in him. Yeah. And so that's a that's a huge deal. Like you do mm -hmm. not want to be a team that play that relies so heavily and the 49ers have a great offense, but like mm -hmm. the 49ers also rely heavily on defense and special teams. Mm -hmm. And the field position game, right? Mm -hmm. And if you don't trust your kicker, that impacts that dramatically. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's why this is important, right? It's just yep. the the least shortens because you, he doesn't have the track record that says, okay, we can trust this guy. If he misses kicks in a playoff game, it's just a blip on the radar. It's like, no, nope, it continues a trend, and that's why it's an yeah. issue. Yep, no doubt. That was my big takeaway from things that matter for the 49ers in this game. That was number one for me. 
Yeah. And uh, again, maybe they get to the playoffs and he is just nails and doesn't miss a kick in the playoffs and everything's fine. But it's a, of all the things that are going to be question marks going in, like this is right up there, right? Assuming Christian McCaffrey's healthy, assuming Trent Williams is good to go. uh, This is the, the, on a team this good, I guess it's just kind of the, the biggest, I guess, issue or biggest flaw right now.